first, every PTZ you get will come with its own power supply. Traditionally, if you buy a camera online, it does not come with its power supply. This one does, um, and you need to use this one because this camera uses a lot of power, uses a lot of amperage, and this power supply is designed specifically for this camera, so please use it. You definitely do not want to use a multi-channel power supply to power this camera. Um, those things are not beefy enough to power this camera because this camera sucks a lot of juice. Um, <clears throat> then it comes with some Allen keys um, to position the camera, or I mean to uh, loosen up certain parts of the camera during installation. Um, it also comes with gaskets, and I'll show you where these go. Um, it comes with some gloves. Um, all our PTZs come with gloves. Really, you probably won't need these gloves for this PTZ. Normally, you would need gloves to, if you need to position a glass dome, but as you can see, this PTZ does not come with a glass dome, so you probably won't need these, but they come with it anyways. Um, and it also comes with this little thing, which whenever you're mounting the camera to the mounting bracket, it kind of keeps them connected. In case you drop it, it'll catch it. It's a safety cable. And um, basically, here's the mounting bracket. Um, and again, you, most PTZs you see online do not come with mounting brackets. Um, they just come with this part. This one comes with a wall mount. It comes included in the package. And the cool thing about this PTZ, it's really, it's kind of easier PTZ to install. If you've ever installed PTZs before, they're not the easiest thing to install because you gotta, you know, you kinda gotta mount the thing, for, mount the bracket first, and then you gotta hold up the PTZ and connect the wires. It's just not a real easy process. Well, this kinda takes away some of that pain, the way it's designed. Um, you look at this here. Uh, most PTZs you see, you'll have to get some incoming wires and loop them through here, and then either tie them together with uh, wire nuts here, with some wires here, or insert them into some um, wire connections. This makes this process so much easier. You're just, I mean, it's just, you plug it in, and then you close up the dome. It's really easy the way this, is, this process works. Um, but I'll kind of show you how it mounts up here in a little bit, but this is the, I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way so I can show you the main PTZ module. Oh yeah, by the way, here's where this gasket goes. Um, it just kind of keeps it a little weatherproof, you know, around the little uh, mounting bracket so no water slides in there. And this, this gasket goes right here. But here's the main PTZ module. Um, it's, as you can see, it's kind of a beast. Um, me and my associates here nickname it the bad boy PTZ because that's really what it is. Um, it's, uh, it's really awesome. I mean, it's not meant to be covert, so um, you will see the camera moving, um, you know, panning and tilting. You know, most PTZs have a glass dome around it. You can't do that with IR PTZs, otherwise you'd have some big time IR reflections. So it's not a covert camera. It was really never meant to be. What this thing is great for, you know, with PTZs, they're awesome, but most PTZs don't have IR on it. So, you know, for pitch black scenarios, you're not gonna see anything at night. Well, these things have some really high powered IR P uh, IRs on it. Um, and they're very intelligent as well. Basically, whenever you zoom in, these have certain um, different levels of IR on it. Not all of these IRs are going to be on all at one time, at any point in time. Basically, how that works is whenever you zoom in, a certain, certain parts of these IRs are going to pop on. They're more of like long-range focused IRs. And when you zoom out and to zoom to the widest position, other parts of the IR is going to turn on. To, it's more a, a wide dispersed IR. So that's kind of how the smart IR on this works. Um, actually different levels turn on and off during certain parts of the zoom level. And you'll kind of see that on the videos we have to follow. But uh, you know this, this PTZ is great for open fields or parking lots where you don't have a lot of light at night.